Chem champion. I have to say I was disappointed, but not surprised, by Matt's or Jenks' visceral reaction to Bloomberg restricting the size of, of giant cups of soda. In my mind, people in both parties have become far too libertarian, all too willing to place restrictions on other people's behavior, but whine like babies when it affects them. Let's state this clearly. The government can regulate nearly anything, though in some cases it probably shouldn't. Well, I don't even know what the libertarian argument is. Whose freedom is being imposed upon? It's not the consumer's. The consumer doesn't have the, all the freedom in the world to get any size soda they want. And this doesn't really curtail all, it, the specificity I mean, I, I complain that I can't get a three-ounce uh, uh, bottle of soda when I go to, uh, why do I have to pay $2.60, whatever it is, for, for a 16-ounce soda? I want a, I want a, a six-ounce cup of soda. And if you tell me I can just pour half of it out, well, I can just tell you that people can go back with their smaller cups and get more. Matt? And then people say, well, you're infringing upon the, the bottler's right to sell what they want to sell. You're interfering with the free market. There is no free market. The reason why they can afford to put 32 ounces of soda in a cup, because it doesn't cost them an extra dime to, to make that. Maybe it costs them a, cent, a penny. Because we subsidize their number one product in there. High fructose corn syrup with our tax dollars. Nanny state. You know, if there was one eighth, and Matt, you're certainly not um, guilty of this, but if there was one eighth the outcry over what Bloomberg's cops and what Bloomberg's policies have done in shutting down protest in this city, or in the stop and frisk, I mean, I, I haven't quite seen the number presented in this way, but as far as I can tell, like, there is a 110% chance if you are a black male teenager living in probably the Bronx, Queens, or Brooklyn, and you uh, don't live in an underground chasm of tunnels, but actually walk the streets to get to where you're going, there's only like a 110% chance you are going to get stopped and frisked over the course of maybe a year. That's not a nanny state. That's not, a, that's not an infringement on anybody's civil liberties. But the fact that after you get stopped and frisked, you can't get a 64-ounce um, cup of soda, well, pfft. that's big brother. It's the most retarded, and I say this in the most general of terms, in Massachusetts ease thing I've ever heard in my life. And like I said, you don't like it? Move to Paramus. Go to New Jersey. 